Muy buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. I'd like to start this uh, press conference thanking the Secretary General, uh, Jens Stoltenberg, for his very kind visit. It is tremendously important uh, for us, and it's a great honor to have him here today. It's a work visit, as you know, that before the upcoming defense ministerial to be held in the month of February, which will lay the foundations for the NATO summit of the month of July in August, in July. There have been very many things we've covered today, and I'm sure that uh, they will all, it will all strengthen the already very important relationship uh, between Spain and the Atlantic Alliance. As you know, Spain joined the Atlantic Alliance over 30 years ago. And uh, with very many satisfactory results obtained by the parties uh, throughout this fruitful uh, relationship. Let me give you examples of things we've done today. First of all, the very strong commitment of Spain with the Atlantic Alliance and our allies has been left very clear, it's been reaffirmed. We've also spoken about a NATO that looks at challenges with a 30, 360 degree approach, very importantly, north, south, east, and west, which is very important for Spain. We've also insisted on the importance of uh, the adaptation of the alliance using uh, the very important structures and resources that we have to be improved. And I'm sure the Secretary General will be mentioning this, too. We've spoken about how important it is to make uh, uh, the EU-NATO uh, cooperation compatible. Both organizations contribute to our common uh, defense and security policies. Spain has been a member of, of uh, NATO for over for 35 years. And from the Spanish standpoint, a strong Europe in defense and security helps make NATO stronger in Europe. And this is Spain's aim, uh, among others, when we talk about the relationship between NATO and the EU. As you know, Spain is, uh, uh, is a, a country that is uh, firmly committed to NATO, uh, that is, uh, acts on, based on solidarity. We, act, we are participating in very many operations. 40% of Spain's operations abroad are carried out under the aegis of the alliance. We have approximately six, 750 troops in different places, such as Latvia, in uh, the framework of the enhanced forward presence. The deployment of a Patriot missile uh, uh, battery in Turkey and Sea Guardian operation in the Mediterranean. In addition, we participate in resolute support in Afghanistan, which will precisely be uh, reinforced in 2019 with the new needs for training of the Afghan uh, National Army. We're also uh, part of the uh, core team of NATO in Iraq, and Iraq is another country where Spain will be increasing its troops and commitment. We are present as a country in all of NATO's flanks because we are convinced that the borders of any ally uh, uh, affect the borders and the security of Spain. And this is a conviction of our government. In addition to this uh, ongoing commitment over time, which we will continue to preserve in Latvia, in the Baltic air policing, and also in every other matter that has been developed by our country over time, such as, for example, the standing naval groups, both in Northern Europe and in the Mediterranean, as well as at the Rota naval base, where we host in the uh, defense uh, system, the mm, alliance's uh, uh, anti-ballistic missile system for Aegis destroyers of the United States. 
as you can see from there, the uh, uh, we consider all of NATO's borders to be the same as Spain's borders, and that's how we see have this joint vision of the Atlantic Alliance. In addition, I also like to say that we have uh, covered, and uh, with the Secretary General the, during the different meetings we've had, that the next great challenge ahead, fully uh, supported by Spain, which is the renovation of the command structure that is being carried out at present, in addition to the force structure. Uh, in this context, the effort made by the Secretary General and by his whole team to make NATO more effective, more efficient, and to use uh, the means and resources at its, at its disposal more intelligently is also extremely important. I'd also like to point out that we do understand that we need to convey to the Spanish public opinion how important it is for Spain to uh, belong to an organization such as the North Atlantic Alliance organization. We have allies that, the same as ourselves, acting out of solidarity, are aware of the need to protect the borders and the sovereignty of us all. In this regard, a common security and defense policy is essential in a world such as ours. We need to use our means effectively, and uh, we are doing so. Spain is absolutely convinced of where we stand, uh, in, uh, where NATO stands today, and the path that is being uh, taken to make it more effective and also better understood by the public opinion. This is the will of the uh, Spanish government. We want Spanish society to know NATO well. It is in the front line of, our, of de the defense of our values, security, l defending our freedom, and also our well-being. We cannot exercise our freedoms if we don't live in a safe world. And our being a member of the Atlantic Alliance contributes to this because it helps us live in a safer world at the same time that we are also generous with others. The Secretary General knows this. That I have told him that he, that he can count uh, on us to improve the effectiveness of uh, NATO with the commitment of our country, with the commitment of Spain. And uh, before finishing, I would once again like to thank him for his visit, for his commitment to Spain, for his commitment of uh, uh, continuing to bring our interests together with what matters most to all of us, be it European pol both European policies and Atlantic Alliance policies, because it matters to our stability and to the defense of our democratic societies. So thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General. You have the floor. Thank you so much, uh, Minister uh, Dolores uh, de Cospedal and uh, their uh, Maria, uh, I really appreciate to be here today uh, together with my delegation and so much uh, thank, uh, thanks to you for your warm welcome. It's always a pleasure to be in uh, Madrid. And uh, to also say uh, that uh, we really appreciate uh, the commitment of NATO to our alliance and uh, uh, the Spanish uh, contributions to our collective uh, defense. Because uh, Spain is uh, contributing in so many different ways uh, to our shared security and to our collective uh, defense. You mentioned uh, actually many of them, but let me just highlight how much we appreciate that uh, Spanish troops are uh, in Latvia being part of our enhanced forward presence and uh, helping to deter uh, any aggression against our Eastern allies. We also welcome the fact that um, uh, Spanish um, planes, jets, are regularly uh, policing the airspace uh, in the Baltics and that you are hosting a very important uh, uh, capability for NATO, the Aegis ships uh, in your uh, base in uh, Rota. You have the Patriot batteries in Turkey and uh, you are also playing a key role in the fight against terrorism 
both uh, with your presence in Afghanistan, because the reason why NATO is in Afghanistan is to prevent that country from once again becoming a safe haven for international uh, terrorists. But also by the fact that you are uh, present in Iraq, uh, training Iraqi uh, officers, soldiers, and helping NATO to build up our training activity in that uh, country. Uh, so you are uh, contributing in many different ways, both to our collective defense, but also to our fight uh, against uh, uh, terrorism, and we are extremely grateful for that. Uh, we um, uh, are confronted with a more demanding uh, security environment. Uh, we see uh, new threats and uh, we see old challenges becoming more uh, demanding. We see cyber and hybrid threats. Uh, we are making uh, NATO's cyber defenses even stronger with changes to our command structure and we expect to set up a new cyber operation uh, uh, center. And Spain's National Cyber Command could play a key role in contributing knowledge and experience uh, to uh, NATO. We have just had very good discussions addressing a wide range of uh, issues on how uh, uh, Spain contributes to uh, NATO and how uh, uh, NATO is adapting and responding to a new and more demanding uh, security environment. We also discussed, as you mentioned, the preparations for the NATO summit in Brussels in uh, July. And we will work uh, on two strands as we prepare for that uh, meeting. First, strengthening our collective defense and deterrence. Uh, this is about keeping the peace in Europe and keeping us all safe. And second, uh, working uh, to project stability beyond our borders. This is key in the fight against uh, terrorism. And NATO has played uh, an important role in this fight for many years. Today, uh, we contribute uh, to the Global Coalition to Defeat ISIS with AWACS uh, uh, surveillance uh, uh, flights and training for Iraqi forces. Uh, and in uh, Iraq, Spain, as I mentioned, is uh, making a real difference uh, by providing specialized counter IED uh, training. As we prepare for the uh, summit, we will consider how our role, uh, role could evolve within uh, the global uh, coalition to uh, defeat uh, ISIS. Allies partners are also adding 3,000 uh, more trainers uh, to the rescue support mission in Afghanistan, helping prevent Afghanistan from ever again becoming a safe haven for international terrorism. Afghanistan has taught us that prevention is better than intervention. So NATO uh, 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 is focusing on how can we prevent conflicts, and we are working with partners like Jordan and Tunisia to strengthen their defense and help them provide for their own security. NATO is adapting to keep our people safe. But in order to keep adapting, we all need to invest in defense. In 2014, all allies committed to stop the cuts in defense spending, gradually increase and move towards investing 2% uh, of GDP uh, uh, on defense within uh, a decade. I welcome that Spain has recently announced plans for significant increases in defense investments. And I encourage you to continue on this path. This is key for fairer burden sharing between North America and Europe and for keeping our people uh, safe. So once again, uh, thank you so much for uh, hosting me and my delegation. And I, uh, I, look really, I li really look forward to continuing working with you as we prepare for the upcoming summit and uh, continue to adapt NATO to a more demanding security environment.